wasn't that a beautiful intro made by none other than myself i took footage from the actual intro of the game and i mixed it up and added some effects but anyway okay so not having it in the game caviar studios and today we have a brand new game for the channel this is armored core 5 a game that snuck up on me and uh i had to actually um i was cruising through the internet looking at the uh various video game sites and i came up to a upcoming video game release schedule and on that release schedule i saw armor core 5 i did not know it was coming out this month but i knew it was coming out in 2012 i'm also glad that it came out because i've been waiting to play another armor core game for years the last one was armor core 4 answer and it was amazing this one is kind of different though the uh the machines are smaller and you can do uh, different types of movements with them. They're, they're smaller and they're more, um, what is it? They can maneuver better. Um, uh, they have a, a, a map that you'll see after this mission. This is a story mission. You have story missions and then you have like conquest missions where you actually uh, go into enemy turf and try to take it over. They have factions that are all over this map that you'll see after this mission briefly. And what you do is you say, all right, I want to go on a, um, a like a renegade ma or mercenary uh, mission. And then you pick an area and then you uh, you add stars uh, according to how much you want to take. And your faction has to have a certain amount of people in order for them to be able to actually do the mission. And that depends on how much territory you're trying to take. So after this mission, you're gonna see a brief map where all you see where you see all the factions come up uh, right here, and you can pick whatever one you want and and what area you want to take over, and then what type of mission that you want to do is like gather intel, destroy uh, sanctuaries, destroy bar barricades, or destroy um, uh, helicopters that transport the armor cores. Now, this is a mercenary mission. I, I actually had to hire two other people because I don't have anybody in my faction. If you want to get in my faction, let me know if you have this game and I'll, I'll let you know it's password protected. The game, it's called Game Caviar. That's what the name of the faction is. But yeah, it's three of us and what we have to do is infiltrate the enemy base and destroy all the targets. Now, the targets in this mission are going to be simple towards, not that hard to kill, but at the same time, it's like uh, 12 of them. You have a time limit that's up there on the uh, upper right hand side of the screen. The uh, machine tells you how how much time is left. It gives you uh, updated. Uh, it updates you on the time left of the mission. Now the controls in this game are very fluid. Everything is. It seems to be in the right place. You use your back shoulder buttons for uh, well, you, you know your all L2 and R2. Those are your your left hand gun and your right hand gun and then you use R1 for your right shoulder gun. I'm pretty sure you can use L1 for your left uh, shoulder weapon, either a gun or a rocket launcher or whatever you could put. It's, it's, you know, every Armored Core game is a lot of customization and this game is no different. You can add many types of guns and heads and body types and helmets. You don't have to have an Armored Core that has legs. You can have one that has a tank bottom or another one. What is the other one? I think the other one has like three legs or something. It's weird, but anyway, Graphics are on par with everything else that I've seen this gen. Uh, they, they're they actually pretty good. It's a, it's an improvement from the last game. Um, I don't really see any issues with the graphics. I'm not really worried about the graphics in this game. It's how fun this game is. And so far, this game is extremely fun. I actually had to do some running around last night. Look at this. Look at this. This is actually something that I like. You'll see this a couple more times in this map. But what I just did right there is I, I, I sent my armor core... And I made it scale up the wall. And what it does is it just climbs up the wall like it jumps up. Look at that. That's crazy. And I like that. I like that they added that so that, you know, you don't just smack into the wall and oh, the side of the building. They just slide up till you get to the roof. I like that extra detail of you actually, you know, jumping up the wall, scaling up it. I like that. Um, but, yeah, I had to do some running around because it was sold out. Walmart didn't have it and one GameStop didn't have it. But, luckily for me, the way that this town is made... They have a GameStop in a shopping center, and right across the street in the mall is another GameStop. So, yeah, this video is just about over. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, we are a quarter of the way to our goal of 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I firmly believe that we will be able to make this 
goal happen so please help us out and subscribe to the channel drop us a comment uh find us on facebook facebook.com slash game caviar you also can well um, i started a tumblr page more for just pictures and little quotes and the videos and everything so check that out too i'll put the link of the tumblr page on the facebook page okay not having it in the game caviar studios thanks for watching and i'm out